What is your scariest fear and why? Falling out of love while in a relationship, how do you explain something like that to your partner? My husband dying, he is my soulmate and we do everything together. We travel the world and have built an incredible life together. I tell him everything, he is my best friend, and I get so anxious when I think about this virus harming him. What society will be like in the future, I don't like the direction it's headed. My daughter being kidnapped, I'm terrified of it happening to me myself but I'm 20 now, not really the main culprit but honestly if my daughter were to be missing I would rather her be dead. The thought of her being in someone else's clutches and them doing whatever they want. I can't even go into it, it genuinely makes me want to throw up and cry. No parent should ever have to go the through a kidnapping of a child, honestly it's the most terrible thing I can imagine. Spiders, oh man here we go. So, I'm four and I'm taking a piss. Suddenly from the ceiling a big ass spider drops on the toilet and it wasn't even in Australia. So I ran from the toilet, my pants still down, screaming. That was a fun day. Living to witness an extinction level event. Historically, 99.99% of species are extinct, so extinction is the rule rather than the exception. We have a lot of confidence in our technology, genetic diversity, and resilience, but there are still a lot of scenarios that could wipe us out. I don't ever want to hear the terrified, agonizing screams of humanity as people realize our time is up as a species. I'm afraid of being stabbed and can't do nothing to save myself. Y'all have legit ass fears. Mine is losing everything on my computer LMAO. My biggest fear is an actual phobia that I forget its name, the fear of the deep sea, I almost drowned when I was a kid and anything that reminds me of the sea, even writing this comment is bringing some bad memories. My worst fear is that something will happen to one of my nieces, nephews, nibblings on my watch. Not only would I have lost a child who's so dear to me, but I'd also have crippling guilt and would very likely lose the relationship with my sibling. My worst phobia is trypophobic, an irrational fear of clusters of holes. I don't know why, I just can't. That I'll walk into a public restroom one day and go into a stall where someone will be in another stall waiting for me and then proceed to kill me as soon as I walk out. I can't go into a public restroom without being paranoid about this every single time. Dying in a dingy, smelly bathroom at random by a stranger freaks me out. Walking to my car and having someone lying in wait under it ready to slice my Achilles tendon. Just knowing that shit snaps like a rubber band makes me ill. Also pretty sure this scene was in a horror movie I once watched. Now I open my door from as far away as possible, leap in, and slam it closed behind me. Rip whatever I'm carrying, loose clothing, and just once my poor phone. Losing every single person I loved and cared for in a single day. My parents, my brother, my friends, all of them. If they were gone so suddenly, then would have nothing. That being positive and trying to cancel out the sadness from my mind will only make it extra hard in the future, I already feel like I'm losing my grip. I have anxiety and have had depression when I was younger and I'm slipping again, I just can't face it, I cannot get out again. I'm terrified of driving, I was born with strabismus and the corrective surgery left me with depth perception issues. I'm RG colorblind. My arms aren't very steady, shaky if I have to keep them in use and sometimes my shoulder elbow will lock up. All of this means I could kill one or more people just because of bad luck and I am not down with it at all. My scariest fear is to randomly be in the middle of the ocean, no land around, just you, and the water, you look down, and you see the infinity blue abbeys which is darkening over the depths, geez, just don't, when playing a game like GTA 5, get that ocean away from me, but when I played Sea of Thieves, it was just like adrenaline boost a little bit, so yeah, dark oceans is a big no-no to lose my girlfriend. Before I met her I was very depressed and suicidal, and had been for a long time in my life. She brought me immense happiness and hoy, and really just kinda taught me how to love life, or at least aspects of it. She's my entire world and I don't know what life is like after her, and I don't really want to know. Getting so attached to my girlfriend that I depend on her emotionally, and when she leaves me it breaks me. I've had a pretty shitty relationship history, most relationships lasting a month max, me and my ex broke up and got back together around 14 times total lol, 
not exaggerating by the way, even though this is my longest lasting relationship, seven months, and I am happy, we both love each other a lot, the feeling that she can just lose interest and leave me in an instant is always gonna be there for me and I'm terrified of getting so attached and depending on her so much for things like emotional support and happiness that if she leaves me, which let's face it will probably happen at some point, that it will break me. I am absolutely paralyzed of being alone. I guess that one is pretty universal I don't mind being by myself, as in like living alone or whatever, but having no safety net or emotional security is the worst. My social circle is incredibly sparse and I feel like I'm often forgotten, so it's like my biggest long-term fear is slowly coming true and I fucking hate it. Also, horses. Those fuckers can go right to the extinction list. They scare the shit out of me. I'm afraid of basically anything that is supposed to be scary, the unknown, jump scares, etc. But I have a phobia that isn't necessarily scary, but more unsettling to me. Trypophobia if you look up pictures, you're scarred for life. It's gross, organic, bubbly. Just makes me want to get a flamethrower and smelt it smooth. Basically any organic shapes turn me into, OSHT, mode, including fungi. I'm not scared of dying myself but I'm absolutely terrified of losing other people. I haven't lost anyone particularly close to me before, except from a few pets, and the thought of the pain that comes along with that just fills me with fear. The worst part is I know that at some point my worst fear will inevitably come true. All I can do is make the most of the time I've got now. Nothing compares to the fear that, just like my ex always said to me, I'm a worthless, ugly, nasty replaceable loser, and I'm going to die alone, because I'm boring at best and a cancer to everything I touch at worst. I'm going to die in my home alone or in a hospital where my only company is nurses who don't know me and have 50 other people to get to that night. Except spiders, they really wig me out. I'm afraid of vast open spaces without any sign of civilization all around. The open sea is the worst, I'm never going on a cruise or even a boat that moves out of sight of the shoreline. I don't know, this fear makes less sense when I think it would be cool to visit space. Honestly would be waking up and this was all fake. Ever since psychedelics I sometimes think, what if I'm not even human or around and am somehow tripping, dreaming this life, like the, brain in a jar, thing. Other than that itd be old and alone. Fire. Like why wouldn't people be scared of burning to death? Nope. 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 And as I get older dying alone and no one noticing, caring. I don't have many friends and I'm forever single no siblings so as I get older I'm getting really worried that I will be alone when I'm old and die. Being murdered. When I was 19, I was assaulted, by a stranger, when I was walking home from work. He asked me to unbutton my pants and I went into fight mode. I still remember how it felt to dig my fingers into his flesh and take them down any bit of his body I could reach. I might have been 19 when I was assaulted but it doesn't matter how old you are or what gender you are to someone who is intent on harming you. I have a constant fear that I will die at the hands of a sadistic fucker. It lurks in the back of my mind. This also ties into another fear of mine, dying a slow death. I want to die fast or in my sleep. I just don't want pain and fear. I've had enough of both. My biggest fear growing up was that I'd lose all my friends and family and that I would die alone, now my biggest fear is being falsely accused and having my life ruined to the point that I'd have to either change my name and get plastic surgery to change my face or to kill myself. Spiders and Sharks I get my fears from dreams, so I had a dream that I got attacked by a great white shark and I woke up screaming just when it closed its jaws around me. Second one is spiders, so I have an air vent in my room and if you know Harry Potter then it was like all the tiny spiders crawling to the big one and then two giant spiders crawled out and jumped at my face, then I woke up screaming. And I do think more things will happen and I will get more fears. That one or both of my parents will develop Alzheimer's. My mom's dad died last winter after struggling with it for 11 years. My dad's mom has needed to live in a memory care unit for two years but probably had it for longer. Since it's heritable, my folks have a strong likelihood of developing it. I consider myself very fortunate to have watched and helped them tend to their parents, they had to learn it on the fly because their own grandparents died relatively young, and many decades ago. They modeled what worked, and what didn't, for me, so I can be way better at helping them effectively. I have always known that as the older kid and the only one living locally, elder care will be my responsibility. I know I will do the cooking, cleaning, home maintenance, day-to-day -day everything. My brother works in medicine, he has medical power of attorney, but the legal and financial stuff is delegated to me. 
I will pay their bills, give them their medicines, wash their hair, weed their garden. I see how much my folks do for their parents, and I don't know if I can give them that. I am only one guy. I probably won't marry, I probably won't be able to retire like they have, and we definitely can't afford in home aids. It is my duty and my honor to do it. I want them to have as good and dignified a life as possible, and I will do whatever I can to help them have that. But I don't want them to suffer. I don't want them to be sad and scared and alone and confused and angry all the time. I just want them to be safe and happy. Amounting to nothing. My whole childhood I've wanted to grow up to do great things and give my future kids a better life than I had. I know being average has been a stupid fear but I've been taught that I have to be better than others. So whether or not it's my own aspirations for some reason I feel like falling short of greatness makes me a failure. I'm terrified of losing my mind. Of hearing things and seeing things and being in a world that isn't what everyone else is experiencing. I had intrusive thoughts for a year, brought on from nowhere, and that was the constant one in my head, what if you lose it, what if you hurt someone, did you actually hear that? Was that real? Don't do that, you might trigger it. Thinking back on it, I pretty much lost my mind then, so I guess I've already experienced my fear, and it was the darkest place I've been. I don't have intrusive thoughts anymore but that fear still sticks with me. Losing control of reality scares the shit out of me. I know there are people out there who do experience this, and to those people, I'm sorry if me saying this has offended you in any way and I want you to know I do not fear you, I don't think you're a monster or scary. I know people can still live their lives like this and be happy and successful. But the fact that your mind can take a turn like that, and there's really not a direct way to fix it, is terrifying to me. Even more terrifying is the thought of people abandoning me if it happens. But I've come to realize I have very close people in my life who wouldn't leave me, so that's been a comfort. Also just realizing that whatever happens happens and I'll ultimately be okay in the end has helped a lot.